Hey everyone, this is Sir Anaba. Today I'm doing a performance review of the Nike Adapt BB. This is Nike's third iteration of self uh, lacing sneakers. Uh, this is the first time they did it for a basketball shoe. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about the features of the shoe and then also go into the performance uh, review section of it. So let's go ahead and discuss. So for my previous um, uh, video, which was the unboxing, uh, I showed you some of the items that came along with the shoe, including the charging station. Uh, I just wanted to show you how the charging station works in this video here. So what you do, it has a battery at the bottom of the shoe. And you just, all you have to do is place it on top of the charging pad. It's supposed to charge for like 15 minutes and that charge can last you up to two weeks according to Nike. Also, the app that comes along with the shoe, um, you can also tighten up the shoe with the app, loosen up the shoe, uh, choose the colors um, for the buttons um, on the shoe as well. For the traction, the traction is made of a translucent sole. It has two pivot points in the forefoot and the back. Uh, when I started playing, it was really slick. I had trouble stopping uh, properly, but after a while, it took some time to break in. Um, I think by the third or fourth game was when I started to feel the traction. I was concerned about um, the grooves here, that they were gonna be too thin, they were gonna collect a lot of dust, but I didn't really have much of an issue. Um, on top of that, um, I like the way that the, uh, the traction wraps up on the side of the shoe as well too, which is excellent for doing bank cuts. Um, so overall, the traction was really good. I liked it a lot, I did his job. So the midsole features a cushion foam setup. Um, when I first started wearing these, the foam was really dense and didn't give a whole lot of give. So after a couple of games of playing, um, it started to break in, but not as much as I liked. I've played in different types of foam from Nike, such as the React, Lunar Foam, even Zoom X for, in their running shoes. Um, this did not feel as good as those other phones. Um, for $350, Nike really should have put some type of better foam in there or even used Zoom Air. Zoom Air is a standard uh, for all types of cushioning when it comes to basketball, in my opinion. So for $350, they really could have done a better foam. Um, I had to use a different insole just to give me a bit more of a uh, cushion responsive feel. But at that time, it did sacrifice my uh, court feel. And like for me, I really do need that court feel when I do play, uh, play on the court. I really like to, to feel um, every time I take a step on there as well. So um, as far as the cushioning goes, it did not do a, do a good job. It did not get the job done. For the upper, the upper is made of a stretchy fly knit material. I did like that a lot. Um, it gave me great movement when my foot was inside the shoe. In the interior um, of the shoe, it has like a like synthetic light nylon on the inside, and then the tongue kind of feels like a synthetic suede. It is heavily padded, uh, which also gave me uh, great comfort. So when I stepped in, um, on the back of the shoe, it feels like a synthetic suede. Also, um, it didn't feel any type of bulkiness. It felt very sleek. I think Nike did a really good job in terms of the construction of the shoe, just to make sure that, hey, we, even though there's, there's quite a bit of moving parts in here, uh, we still want you to feel like it's like there's one piece upper and it's very sleek. So the, the materials um, is really excellent. I really like what Nike did um, with the upper portion of the shoe. As far as support goes, the Nike Adapt BB features a motorized unit uh, located in the middle section of the midsole of the shoe, which actually doubles up as a shank plate, which provides torsional support um, for your footbed, uh, which was excellent for me when I was playing. Um, you also have an external uh, heel counter um, in the back here, which is made of plastic, and also um, an internal uh, cable wire, which locks locks in step with the the laces with the laces located um, underneath the shroud of the shoe. Um, one of the great features about uh, the shoe was that when I was uh, initially playing, there were there were times where my feet were starting to get tired, my legs were starting to get tired, and I always start out with my shoe wanting to be really tight and locked down, but 
uh, the more fatigued I got, I kind of wanted my shoe uh, to be kind of loose. So I was able just to bend down real quick and just kind of hit one of the side buttons here and it was able to loosen it real quick. Um, there's no need to quickly lace my shoes real, uh, real fast. So that's one of the great features that I did like. So overall, the support of the shoe was excellent. Um, I'm really impressed by how they were able to implement everything all together um, for this shoe here. So after playing in this shoe for two weeks, um, overall, um, the traction was, was on point. Uh, at first, it does take some time to break in. Um, but once it's broken in, it's excellent. The shoe stops on a dime. You can pivot, you can bank on the shoe really good. Um, the cushion was how it disappointed for me. Um, I had to switch out insoles. Um, I got tired leg uh, because of the cushioning. Uh, for $350, um, Nike could have used Zoom Air, even uh, you could have used like Lunar Foam or React instead of uh, an $80 uh, type of cushion that you can find at Ross. So I was highly disappointed in the cushioning. I tried to give it a chance, but I mean, it just would not give. And my legs got so fatigued um, after each session of playing. Um, as far as the upper goes, the, the materials were excellent. The fly knit was, was, uh, was great. It was breathable. It felt really good. Um, the support was excellent with the, the cables and the shank plate. Uh, my foot uh, felt really locked down. I was able to customize how I wanted it on the spot, just like that. So for overall, um, does this shoe get the job done for me on the basketball court? I'm gonna go ahead and say no, and that's because of the cushioning. Uh, if you're gonna pay $350, I want the top notch type of technology that Nike has, and Cushlon definitely was not it. It is a dense foam and did not give a whole lot of give. Um, like I said, there's so many other technologies out there at Nike's disposal that they could have used, but they chose not to. Was it to, was it to house the, uh, the motorized unit? I don't know. But um, you can also combine Zoom Air along with Cushlon. You did have that option, but you chose not to. So I was highly disappointed um, of the shoe. Um, I do hope that Nike uh, really considers using a better type of cushion and the next iteration of the shoe that they do plan to uh, come out with next year, from what I've been told. Um, but anyways, that's the review. If you have any um, questions or comments, please leave them below. And also please like, share, and subscribe to this video. And I'll see you next time. Peace.